Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to the Unlock Your First Six Figures in Business morning show. Um, this part of the week, this ending of the week, I am actually at a conference in Georgia. And so this is pre-recorded. We are not live today, even though it may say live up the top. We are not live today. So no one is able to come in studio on Zoom with me, um, but that's okay. I still have great information for you for today's morning show, and I'll be monitoring the comments all day. So make sure you comment. All right. So today, well, let's look. All this week, we have been talking about negative mindset and how it affects your business, how it affects you um, in making the revenue goals that you want. And it especially um, impacts my favorite uh, entrepreneurs, which are the people trying to get to their first six figures in business. OK, and so uh, on Monday, what we talked about was the fear of failure, the fear of failure. Um, what happens is that fear of failure will stop you from launching. It will stop you from asking for the sale. It will stop you from doing so many things because you don't want to fail. So you try to wait until you think you have it perfect. No such thing. Um, and so you're wasting time. You could be making money. So you're wasting money opportunities, all of these things. On Monday, I gave you the solution to that. Go to Monday's replay for the solution. On Tuesday, what we talked about on the morning show um, was we talked about the negative mindset of lack of resilience, okay? Lack of resilience. What I need you to know is entrepreneurship is trial and error, okay? It's a journey of trial and error. It's a journey of being better, servicing better, having a better product, having a better offer. That is entrepreneurship. And so when you go through the trials and you go through the errors, how do you bounce back, right? How do you, how resilient are you? OK, can you bounce back? How long does it take you to bounce back? All of these things. And so I want you to go back to Tuesday's replay and see what did I give as a solution to that? Because there is solutions to that. OK, on yesterday, part three um, was the negative self talk. OK, ne you know what? Today is part three. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Today is part three. I forgot I'm recording this. So today is about negative self talk. And to me, if I think it's the worst one because we're actually doing it to ourselves. Um, we're actually talking ourselves down. Um, as entrepreneurs, we already don't quite fit in, right? Um, most what society tells you is you are to get a great education, and that education is supposed to lead you to a good, good job. And then from that good, good job, you're supposed to retire, right? Um, so you give all of yourself to somebody else's dream because that's what a job is. You're working someone else's dream. Um, but entrepreneurship is working your own dream. But most people around us work the nine to five. They work the job that somebody else's dream. And so they don't understand why we invest so much money and why do we invest so much time in something that it hasn't quite paid off yet. Something that they don't know can pay off. Right. And so that's the outside, the external uh, negative talk. But when you're telling these things to yourself, the impact can be devastating. OK. And I have likened it to a boat. Right. When a boat or a ship is on water and water is all around it, it's fine. It goes through the water. Right. So when negative negative talk is all around you, you can be fine. But when water gets in the boat, when water gets in the ship, the entrepreneurship, the ship will sink. So when the self-talk is within, it's in you. Come on, right? It has such an impact. And that impact is harsher and harder than anything happening on the outside. Anything anybody says. Because if you believe in yourself, no matter what someone says, then what people say have less of an impact. But when you don't believe in yourself, that's a problem, right? So let me look at my notes. So what I said is, um, you know, out of love, people may give you a lack of support externally, but when you don't support yourself, the impact is higher. So what words do you use to describe yourself, your business, 
your future. What words do you use to describe? Are you using negative words, right? Are you saying my little business, right? Are you diminishing the dream that is your business? Negative self-talk from the outside is one thing. Negative self-talk on the inside is a totally different thing. Let me tell you some of the some of the things that are the impact. Okay. When you have negative self-talk on the inside, it reduces your self-esteem. Okay. That's the esteem of yourself, right? You are reducing your own self-esteem. Your negative self-talk chips away at your worthiness, your self-worth. It makes you feel you are incapable rather than capable. It can increase your anxiety, right? Every time you get ready to do something because you don't believe in yourself, it becomes a stressful situation. Self-talk can limit your negative self-talk, can limit your potential, okay? It can limit your potential. You can only go as far as you believe you can go. So with the negative self-talk coming from within, you're stopping yourself, okay? It reduces your motivation. It reduces the energy you need to move forward. Negative self-talk takes away. It doesn't add. It's not protecting. It's keeping you from, right? It's keeping you from good things. So I want you to think about those things. Now, I would love to know in the comments if you've ever felt any of this. Negative self talk. What are some negative things that you have told yourself, whether you thought they were true or you thought they weren't, whether you worked through it or not? You're human. Put in the comments and tell me some negative self talk you've experienced. Have you ever had a friend that had negative self talk going? And how did that impact them? How did it impact you? Put that in the comments for me. Okay. Now, again, I'll be monitoring the comments, even though this is recorded. Let's get to the solutions, y'all. You replace the negative self-talk with positive self-talk, but positive, that's too general. So let's go detailed. I need you to replace negative self-talk with your evidence of your accomplishments. Okay? You've done great things. You've done good things. Replace that negative self-talk with the great things that you've done. I want you to invest in personal and professional development because what that does is it reinforces your belief and your ability to adapt and grow, okay? So whereas you may have had negative self-talk that told you you couldn't do a certain thing, when you go and you learn how to do a certain thing, you reinforce the ability. Now you can replace that negative self-talk with your ability, okay? I want you to get around a community of other entrepreneurs. Sometimes it just takes another entrepreneur to understand what you're going through. Sometimes it takes the, the support of people who know what you're going through to help you over the hump of that negative self-talk that you're telling yourself. So instead of being surrounded by only your family and friends who are job holders that have a nine to five, you surround yourself with pockets of entrepreneurs so you guys can talk about the unique problems that you have. That's support, okay? Let's talk about some other stuff. I want you to practice self-awareness. Pay attention to the thoughts that you're having so that you can reframe them with positive thoughts. Pay attention, be self-aware. Challenge the negative thoughts that you're having in the moment. OK, in fact, I'm going to challenge you for every negative thought that you have. I need you to replace it with two positive ones, any kind of positive thought for all the negative self-talk. You got to say two positive things. OK, I need you to develop positive affirmations. OK, affirmate. I am dot dot dot. What are you right? I am worthy. I am smart. I am capable. Give yourself these affirmations of positive self-talk and say them all the time, okay? 
Surround yourself with supportive people. We talked about the entrepreneurship community, but sometimes you need a cheerleader that's not even connected. I, my biggest cheerleader was always my grandmother, right? Who is your biggest cheerleader? I do want you to have the entrepreneur community, but then there are some people that just cheer you on. They have nothing to do with entrepreneurship for those people. Lean into them. Be around those type of people more. Be around the negative talking people less. Okay. I want you to practice self-compassion. Grace. Give yourself grace. You are human. You are not built to be perfect. You are built to experience things and pull lessons from those experiences and apply those lessons, okay? I want you to focus on your strengths and your achievements. Nothing like focusing on your strengths because sometimes that negative talk is focusing on your weaknesses. Replace that with what are your strengths, okay? And I'm gonna tell you like this. If you can't do it yourself, if you don't have the tools and the negative self-talk seems to be winning, I need you to get therapeutic tools. Find, perfect, get a therapist. That's what they're for, to give you tools. There's, there shouldn't be a negative uh, connotation, a negative stigmatism applied to therapy because therapy just gives you tools. When you can't do things on your own, you always go get somebody else to help you. Therapy is no different. OK, so I would love it if you would put in the comments out of all of these solutions that I've given. What are the solutions that you feel like will work the best for you? OK, what are solutions that sometimes you tell a friend when they're giving themselves? What do you tell other people? We have children, us that are parents and children tend to do negative self-talk. How do you help them? Put it in the comments, okay? So I just want y'all to know I miss you guys. I'm in the lobby of the conference uh, recording this so I can make sure that you have it on time. Uh, so hopefully my voice outweighed the other voices because people are having an amazing time already. Um, but I would love to, for in the comments for you to give me what you think about negative self-talk, your experiences with negative self-talk, whether it's yours or someone else's. What do you think about the solutions that I um, share with you? Um, what have you told people in your life that you love about negative self-talk? How did you help people that you care about? Children, family members, friends, companions, spouses, that type of thing. How did you help them get around negative self-talk? Okay, so if you have any tips about negative self-talk, I want you to put them in the comments. Again, um, this is not live, but I'll be um, interacting with your comments all day long. I'll be checking for them, all right? So um, I'm going to record tomorrow's uh, morning show and tomorrow's blog talk. So I'm going to have on the same thing. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the strap so that maybe it looks a little different. <laughs> all right? So um, I'm going to record for Thursday. Um, so which is tomorrow and don't forget guys I'm on vacation next week so I won't be back until the top of July with our morning show all right I want you to have a great day and I'm going to get to recording for your uh, morning show on tomorrow all right